This short video will explain how to add settings for your discussions and how to meet expectations for your posts and replies. Students often think that discussions are informal conversations, such as social media posts or text messages. Most are academic writing assignments. You should use professional language and college-level writing skills for your posts and replies. Discussions require preparation, including textbook reading, reviewing websites, or watching videos. This planning takes time, as does your ability to answer questions, then reply to classmates. Many students say that replies to classmates sometimes take longer than their personal responses to question prompts. Responses require detailed answers. Replies should be thoughtful and specific. Both should apply the concepts from the class, book, and online content. If you are unsure of directions, contact your instructor early for clarification. If a rubric is being used for grading, use it as a guidepost to determine what is required and compare your work to it to ensure you are meeting those expectations. Subscribe to discussion threads. To avoid having to log in and keep checking to see activity in a discussion, use the subscription tool. You get an alert, your choice text or email, that someone has posted. Go to Notification Settings under your name on the home page and select Alerts and whether you want texts or emails. You can either set subscriptions as a default or add them per discussion as you choose. Visit Discussions on the Falcon Online Info Guide page and watch Engage in Discussions for demonstrations and other discussion tool features. Add the Include Original Post in Replies setting. Imagine walking into the middle of a conversation. It won't make much sense. This is the reason you want to include the previous post. It helps the reader follow the conversation, provides context, and helps the reader understand references. To add the Include Original Post and Replies setting, go to Discussions, then the Settings option in the right corner. Under Reply Settings, check Include Original Message Text in Reply. You will lose points by not including it in your replies. Fix this setting now to avoid that. Start a new thread means that you are starting the conversation from your perspective. This is where you will answer specific prompts that appear in the discussion directions. To make your original post to the question prompts, choose Start a new thread. If you do not see that option, you do not have access either because you missed the deadline or are trying to gain access before you are allowed. Some instructors allow you to view discussions to give you a head start, but you may only have a certain window of time when posts and replies are allowed. Many instructors require you to post before you can view classmate posts to discourage cheating. To see posts, you will need to scroll down past any directions that appear at the top. Notice how they look and how to check for your posts. You want your posts to be clear and specific and write as though the reader is unfamiliar with the topic or questions. You also want to be detailed, providing more than just the answer to the question. Demonstrate your understanding and application and make connections by sharing your experience. It is good practice to include specific references and examples from class, your textbook, and online content to illustrate your ideas. Here are some basics. Include your name and topic in the subject line. Copy and paste prompts to ensure you answer every question. If you're directed to write in paragraph form, just delete the questions after you respond and edit as appropriate. Consider color coding or bolding responses. Just make sure to use a readable color and avoid fancy fonts. Avoid vague references. In question one, just saying, I chose items six, seven, and 12 provides no context. By including the actual statement, as in question one, or the gist of it, like in question three, you help the reader understand your response. Many discussion prompts are multi-question. Make sure that you address each question within the prompt with specifics, details, and examples. Use professional writing. Discussions are graded assignments that should be professional and meet college-level writing expectations. Responses in this example barely answer the questions, have little to no detail, and are not written with correct grammar, punctuation, or capitalization. 
Detailed answers are expected, often a paragraph for each prompt. Example two shows college level writing skills. Responses are full sentences and use correct writing elements. Err on the side of too much detail. Communicating online requires extra effort to be understood. Explain yourself with enough information that the instructor and classmates understand your ideas and perspectives. Again, this is an unacceptable post. It barely answers the questions, provides no detailed answers, and are not full sentences. These responses go further than just answering the basic question. They demonstrate depth and understanding and application of the concepts. You want to show that you did the reading and reviewed the materials and can explain how they pertain to the questions asked or to the details of a classmate's post. Use reply when responding to a classmate. By doing so, you are continuing the conversation, not starting a new one. Find a classmate to respond to and click on the post to get this dialog box. Choose reply. By doing so, you will be continuing the conversation and if you correctly added your include original message text in reply setting, this conversation will show below your response. You will see the indication that you included the original message. Start typing your response above where the cursor appears by default. In this example, the student replied after the student's post. It blends into the original post. Instructors will often miss it because it is in the wrong location. Here, the student replied at the top, where the cursor appears. This is where instructors expect to find your reply. Replies should be a continuation of the conversation, not the start of a new one. The purpose of having students reply to one another is to think critically and creatively about each other's ideas. Take the time to select a few key ideas from a post and specifically address each. Here, the student provided no specific reference to anything the classmate talked about. It's a generic statement. Good replies include a greeting and specific references to details from the classmate's post. In this example, you see multiple references to details from the original post that are directly commented upon. This explanation demonstrates understanding of the post and application of the topic. Here, the student basically just took key phrases from the original post and then repeated them with nothing new or original to add. In this example, the post includes specific references from the original post, but puts them into context. The ideas are expanded to provide an explanation. Develop your classmates' ideas further discuss a different point of view, share commonalities between the two of you, or even share suggestions or advice related to their situation when appropriate. Avoid phrases that add little to the conversation. They are nice, but unless you include a detailed and meaningful post, they are not meeting the purpose of the reply. You are not the instructor, so refrain from trying to grade your classmates' post as you reply. Avoid feedback such as, you didn't answer the prompt, you didn't really explain what you meant, or other comments that relate to the quality of the post versus the ideas behind the content of the post. Avoid comments about how the post was written, grammatical errors, and level of detail. If you find it difficult to read or follow, choose a different post to respond to. Hopefully these examples will help you successfully post and reply when completing your discussion assignments. Thanks for watching.